Crime scene investigators search the scene of a crime, looking for evidence that may prove the innocence or guilt of suspects. They search for fingerprints, hair, or a trace of blood that can be matched to a suspect. The evidence gathered by crime scene investigators is analyzed by forensic scientists. In this lab, we are the crime scene investigators, and we will be working with a forensic scientist to solve a mystery. Today, we are investigating the case of the missing sandwich. Here are the facts we have already established concerning this case. One of our investigators was about to enjoy a delicious sandwich for lunch when she accidentally knocked over her glass of water. The glass broke and water spilled on the table and floor. She left the lunchroom to get some towels to mop up the water. When she returned, her sandwich was missing. Upon examination of the scene, we discovered some evidence, a smudged fingerprint, and a few drops of blood on the broken water glass and on the table. Apparently, the person who took the sandwich cut himself on the broken glass when he was reaching for the sandwich. The smudged fingerprint provided inconclusive evidence, so we focused our attention on the drops of blood. We requested that samples of the blood be sent to our forensic scientist. If she can determine the blood type, and we can match that blood type with a suspect, we may be able to solve this case. We found four possible suspects who were seen near the lunchroom late yesterday afternoon. Each suspect had a bandage on his hand. We knew the bandage could be covering a cut made by the broken water glass. A sample of blood from each of the four suspects was attained and delivered to our forensic scientist. Let's go into the lab to check on the progress of the analysis. Our forensic scientist has already determined that the blood collected at the crime scene is type AB negative. Less than 1% of the world's population has type AB negative blood. If any of the suspects has this blood type, we may have solved the mystery. What do we mean when we say blood type? All people have type A, B, AB, or O blood. Each blood type is determined by the presence of certain antigens. An antigen is any substance that stimulates the body to produce antibodies. Antibodies are proteins that attack substances that might cause disease or harm to the body. Type A blood contains antigen A. Type B blood contains antigen B. Type AB blood contains both antigens A and B. Type O blood contains neither antigen A nor B. Blood may also contain another antigen called the rhesus factor or RH factor. Any blood type that contains the RH factor is called RH positive. If blood does not contain the RH factor, it is called RH negative. This table will give you a better understanding of the eight different blood types. We can detect the presence of these antigens by using special serums containing antibodies. Blood typing is accomplished by mixing small samples of blood with serums containing anti-A, anti-B, and anti-RH antibodies to see how they react. The samples are mixed in the laboratory on slides or cards. If a serum containing a specific antibody comes in contact with its corresponding antigen, the red blood cells react by sticking together. Anti-A antibodies react to antigen A in type A blood. If type A blood is added to a serum containing anti-A antibodies, the red blood cells stick together. However, when type A blood is added to a serum containing anti-B antibodies, no reaction occurs. Anti-B antibodies react to antigen B in type B blood. If type B blood is added to a serum containing anti-A antibodies, no reaction occurs. However, when type B blood is added to a serum 
containing anti-B antibodies, the red blood cells stick together. The red blood cells in type AB blood will stick together with both anti-A and anti-B serums because both antigens A and B are present in its red blood cells. When type O blood is tested, no reaction occurs in either serum because type O blood has neither antigen A nor antigen B. To determine if blood is Rh negative or positive, a sample of the blood is added to a serum containing anti-RH antibodies. The red blood cells of RH negative blood will not react to a serum containing anti-RH antibodies. The red blood cells of RH positive blood will stick together in a serum containing anti-RH antibodies. Now that we have a better understanding of blood types, it is time to test the blood samples of our suspects. We use special slides with wells to contain the drops of blood and serum. We have a separate slide for each suspect and have labeled the slides S1, S2, S3, and S4. On each slide, we have also labeled the wells A, B, and RH for the serums we will use to type the blood. A few drops of each serum have been placed in each of the respective wells. Next, we carefully place a drop of blood from the Suspect 1 bottle into each well on the slide labeled S1. To prevent contaminating our samples, we use a different stick to mix the contents of each well. Let's examine the results and compile them in a table. The blood cells in well A are sticking together. So we write yes on our table for anti-A antibodies. The cells in well B show no reaction. So we write no on our table for anti-B antibodies. The blood cells in the RH well are also sticking together. So we write yes as well for RH antibodies. Based on this information, what blood type is suspect one? Blood that reacts to anti-A antibodies, but not anti-B antibodies, is type A blood. Since the blood also reacted to RH antibodies, it is type A positive. Because his blood does not match the blood found at the scene of the crime, suspect one is probably not the one who took the sandwich. Now, we follow the same procedure to test the blood of suspect two. The cells in well A show no reaction, but the cells in well B are sticking together, as are the cells in the RH well. What blood type is suspect two? We conclude that this blood type is B positive. Since the blood of suspect two does not match the blood found at the crime scene, Suspect 2 is probably not the one who took the sandwich. Now we test the blood of suspect 3. The cells in well A and well B are sticking together, but the cells in the RH well are not reacting. What blood type is suspect 3? We conclude that this blood type is AB negative. The blood of suspect 3 matches the blood found at the crime scene. So it is probable that suspect three took the sandwich. However, we should test the blood of suspect four, just to be sure. Neither the cells in well A nor the cells in well B show a reaction. However, the cells in the RH well are sticking together. What blood type is suspect four? We conclude that the blood type for suspect four is O positive which does not match the blood found at the crime scene. The fact that the blood type of suspect three matches the blood found at the scene is not conclusive proof that he took the sandwich. However, the fact that the blood of the other three suspects does not match the blood found in the lunchroom is evidence that they are not the ones who cut themselves on the broken water glass. When confronted with the results of the blood test, Suspect three confessed to taking the sandwich. By using blood typing, we were able to solve the mystery of the missing sandwich. In our next lab, 
we will look at a demonstration of how our lungs work. At this time, proceed with the corresponding activities.